Heather, I don't even know where to start. You're honestly my favorite person in the world, so I could write all day long on you. I can't believe this day is finally here. It feels like everything in our lives has been leading us to this moment. You are the center of everything good in my life, and I can't imagine a better way to show the world just how happy you make me. I want to start by saying that you honestly mean the absolute world to me. From the moment I met you, I knew you were the one. I wake up every morning and wait to hear your voice when you call me on your way to work. And from the moment that call ends, I cannot wait to hear your voice again when you get off work. You're the one who makes my life complete, and I'll know I love you forever. I vow to always protect you. I vow to always to love your family as mine. I vow to always treat your son as my own. I vow to be the best man that I can be for both of you until death do us part. You're my best friend, and I am so happy that today you become my husband. There's not a single day that I don't thank God for you. I love you, Zach Grizzle, Heather. I love you so much, and I honestly can't wait to see you come down the aisle. I know you're going to be so beautiful. Love always, Zach. each other since our kids were babies and we have been very very close. She has always been such a true friend to me so I was completely honored when she asked me to be her major honor. I said I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna be awkward but I'm doing both so I've been Zach's friend since seventh grade. Um, first time I ever met him, we did not get along very well. And Heather, I've got some stories for you. But no, me, me and Grizzle have, have grown up through the years. Um, and he's like a brother to me. <laughs> There's the whole thing. There we go. her this that I have prayed for this day to come for her and Grayson when she found a man like Zach and I could not have asked for a better man and I truly mean that you know girl I was watching because <laughs> um, I have told her <laughs> um, but he is he is a good man and he is good to her and he's good to Grayson and I'm so happy for you it's the same old story being told inside my head I to straighten up my bones and be a man I, I gotta tear this world
after they'd been together for a little while, he came to me and he said, you know, I think I want to marry this girl. And growing up through the years, he would always ask me, you know, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about this? Sometimes he'd come up with some pretty dumb ideas, and I'd tell him, you know, you don't want to do that. Sometimes he'd come up with all right ideas, and I'd try and guide him in the right direction. But on this particular question, he asked me when he said, I think I want to marry this girl. He said, what do you think about that? And I said, I don't have an answer for you. And he got a little, little confused look to him, and he looked at me, and he said, well, what do you mean? That ain't my, my question to answer, because if I'd have had to answer that question, it wouldn't have been real. And after he sat there and pondered it for a second, he said to himself, I want to marry this girl. And that was the moment I knew, that was the moment I knew that it was meant to be for y'all. Isaac, take Heather. Isaac, take Heather. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us part. Till death us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Okay, Heather. I, Heather, take Zach. I, Heather, take Zach. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Today is the beginning of a new life together for you. It marks the commencement of new relationships to your families, your friends, and certainly to each other. You have invited these special guests to share in one of life's greatest moments as they give recognition to the worth and beauty of your love and add their best wishes to, your, to the words that shall unite you today as husband and wife. The wedding ring serves as a symbol of the promises you have just spoken. It is the outward and visible sign of an inward and invisible love that binds your two hearts together. The wedding ring is a symbol of what God is. He is without beginning and without end. He is eternal. As you can see, the ring is without beginning and without end. So I believe this exchange of rings not only reminds us of the unending love you have for each other, but also reflects the eternal love God has for each of you. Zach and Heather, since you have consented together in holy matrimony and have pledged yourselves to each other by your solemn vows and by the giving of rings and have declared your commitment of love before God and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Zach, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Zach Grizzle.
I love you both dearly, and I'm so happy for you. And I cannot wait for us to have, I tell Heather, welcome to the Wives Club. She is meant to be a wife. She is such a great person. She was born to do this. Like, she's going to be great, and you're going to be great too, and you're going to be so happy. And I'm so proud of them, and let's all keep them in our prayers as they make the transition to Heather and Grace and literally moving to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, they will be moving, and that will be a transition. So let's all raise our glasses to them and to Heather and Zach. We love you. Congratulations. There's always been something about Zach that's always had a little piece missing to him. And the day that he met you and that grace had come into his life, I'd have to say it made him whole. And I wish y'all all the best in the world, and I will always be here for y'all. And I love y'all to death. I know, I know in my heart that you guys have what it takes to make it through this life. And this life is tough, but I know it. I feel it in my soul, and I know that you guys will be just fine. You'll be happy. And I don't have any worries in the world. Yeah. 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 Yeah.